Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is, let me let you see my face. I wanted you to see my shirt. Jesus brings freedom from hell. Ask Jesus into your heart today. It's Thursday, February 27th, and it's 5.21 p.m. And I want to give you a testimony of what it shows when you have faith and trust in the Lord. Now, this is from our sister Tessa, who I put out a video asking, Can anybody help keep her power on? Just a few days ago. Now, listen to what she has to say. Hi, Miss Jeannie. I had to go back today to get the oil change. They forgot we were waiting outside yesterday for over two hours. But they took care of everything today. They also did a free inspection and gave me a list of things we still need done, including the tires. Well, I knew God and the Lord had a plan for us for the extra donations. Thank you, everybody. Um, that's from me. <laughs> With the extra funds we received, I had windshield wipers replaced. And most importantly, the back brakes. Oh, my goodness. I was so over the moon happy for her. Okay, she says, he said they were so bad, they might not have even lasted a week. Like we always say, God and the Lord are so good to us, and they're so awesome. And let me add, they're always right. God is always right on time, is he not? <laughs> Brakes save our lives and others when we need to use them sometimes have to hit them hard and fast. I'm so thankful and grateful to God and the Lord and you, Miss Jeannie, and all our brothers and sisters in Christ that came through for us in more ways than one. God bless you all. God bless us all. Amen. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Amen. I was so excited. I wouldn't have texted you there. And you know, I didn't get a text from you. Um, I don't know if you meant email, but I did not get a text from you. Anyway, but the battery got too low while waiting. I wouldn't have texted you there, but the battery got too low while waiting. I guess you mean the battery in your phone? She doesn't hold the charge long anymore. I'm working on getting tires and figuring out out how to fix the water problem next then your landlord should fix your water problem unless you mean the one where water's coming into your car well sister use the thing that works for everything duct tape in the meanwhile don't let any more water come in use duct tape and something that'll hold it uh, plastic mm, maybe some of you guys can put in a, a suggestion on that water's been running into her car I'm not sure where I think down like at the bottom of the door but now I don't remember for sure all right she said then we will work our way down the list for the other things but those brakes, oh, they sure needed repaired. Y'all just see what happens when you listen to the Lord telling you to do it. And you gave. And she had enough. She got her power paid. She got all this done. 
and oh, it's I'm just so happy. And she said, "Talk to you soon. We love you, Miss Jeannie. Love your little sister in Christ, Tessa." All right. Then she said, before I even saw this, oh, and I forgot to tell you, while I was showing the guy how much we had to work with to pay a Bojangles commercial came on and my baby boy said he wants some bow time and made everybody start laughing he's quite a character and he gets attention and gifts from strangers we both do I came back to check on him before sitting down and guess what the girl had put a ten dollar bill across his lap I said out loud wow we're getting blessings from all over the place I thanked her and gave her a hug and told her God bless them and by the time we left I would prayed for and said God bless you to just about everybody that was around I missed some in the back and ones who left but I still said it all around prayer for everybody praise God praise the Lord amen alright then she just wanted to tell me some of you may have heard of this there was a movie out called pandemic now, I had not seen it or heard of it, but she said, I just watched the movie Pandemic, Part 1 and 2. A young guy came back from Australia on a flight to LAX. He died on the plane. When she said that, I thought, that happened for real. <laughs> but she, um, I asked her, I said, Okay, one, can I share your testimony? And two, was that a movie or happened for real? And if so, can you send me the link or name of channel? <laughs> As I thought, wow, the dude died on the plane. <laughs> well, anyway, she said, yes, you can share my testimony. I believe it will be very encouraging. It shows how we should trust in God and the Lord no matter what. I know, seriously, she waited till the last minute hoping that that um, agency, you know, for people that have a very limited income, they help pay the bills and they had said they would help her to pay it, but it didn't come through yet and she only had till 5 o'clock uh, Monday to get it paid. So I had to put up a video right quick because they'll cut that, they'll cut your power out in a heartbeat. They don't give, they don't care. They, they don't care. Well, that place paid her bill. So she was able to take the money and get those brakes fixed. You see, you see how God works? He's always just in time. Anyway, well, she said, you can share my testimony. I believe it will be very encouraging. It shows how we should trust in God and the Lord no matter what. God and the Lord knew better than I did what we were going to need right away. And they know when I ask for help, I tell the truth. Now about the movie, Pandemic, Part 1 and 2. Yes, it is a movie. But I just sent you a clip about a flight attendant at LAX was just confirmed yesterday in real life to have COVID-19. They spent yesterday trying to scrub and clean the whole airport. The whole airport! For some reason I thought that was airplane in my mind registered airplane I mean that makes more sense but no they're cleaning the whole airport well that's thorough isn't it I guess that's what the new rule is alright before laying down wait a minute 
amazing. God and the Lord nudged me to watch that movie, and the next day it happened here in the same airport. Wow. Now that's something important. Also, I have stopped, like as in predictive programming, telling us what they're going to do. See, it is in the shows. They tell us ahead of time what they're going to do. That wasn't a coincidence. Okay, moving on, she said, now that's something important. Also, I have stopped going to restaurants because of the COVID-19. Before laying down, I came by a video about chicken. Now, I'm sorry. My, I, I'm skipping lines. A video about a woman in China working at KFC just got confirmed to have the coronavirus. She was in charge of frying the chicken. Now her son has it and her sister and could have spread to people in the Buddhist temple. Okay, in China. I'm taking it she was working at a KFC in China. I said, Thank you God and the Lord and the Holy Spirit and guardian angels and angels for protecting us. And for everything, and for sending me another confirmation that I'm doing the right thing not to eat out. Amen. It's hard, though. Now we have to eat at home before appointments and grab things to eat from home when going to doctor and running errands. I sent you that KFC video, too. Thanks for sharing. We love you, and God bless you, your little sister in Christ, Tessa. All right. So, that was her testimony. Oh, I'm sorry. I got I get my face disappear, and I'll try to be more careful, so I'll stay in the middle. I don't know why that happens. I end up pushing up the laptop, and I don't know why. Anyway, so I'll end it here, and... Let that encourage you that she trusted in, in, in the Lord, even though it looked like uh, there up to the last minute she might get her power off. He took care of not only that, but also her brakes and new windshield wipers, which can be very important in a very bad, you know, heavy rain. All right, so thank you to everybody who gave, and thank you to everybody who prayed that she would get enough. She got more than enough and got some of her needs taken care of, and I'm just so happy for that. Okay, so um, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.